Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing a new mystery. And here's what it actually kind of looks like. The scientists currently refer to this as Sauron. Yep, the same Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Although in this case it's a bit of a play on word and it's actually an acronym. It stands for Steep and Uneven Ring of Non-Thermal Radiation. And at the moment it seems to be the first such object discovered in all of the data, but at the same time it seems to be somewhat similar to another very unusual phenomenon only discovered back in 2019. An extremely strange phenomenon referred to as orcs. Odd radio circles. The unusual radio phenomenon we've discussed a few times on the channel and that even today still doesn't really have a very good explanation. But it seems to be absolutely giant potentially several million light years across, and just as the name implies, it's only visible in radio light. It's invisible in the X-rays, it's invisible in optical light or the infrared. And there's a very limited way how these particular radio emissions can actually be produced. As a matter of fact, the only potential explanation here is what's known as synchrotron radiation, which usually happens when things like, for example, electrons suddenly change the direction of motion, most often because of magnetic effects, and then emit radio light as a result of this change of direction. Nevertheless, after four years of investigations and six such objects discovered so far, we still don't really have any explanation of what's actually happening here. All of these orcs or odd radio circles are bright in radio waves, but only three of them seem to contain optical galaxies in their centers. So maybe at least three of them were actually formed by galaxies. How the other three were formed is of course unknown. But back in 2019, even the detection of these objects was already a huge mystery. Nobody ever expected these objects to be discovered, and they were actually discovered completely by accident. In this case, the data came from the Australian Square Kilometer Array, the super powerful radio telescope currently operating in Western Australia. And so in that data, the scientists discovered several unusual objects approximately one arc minute in diameter at very high galactic altitudes away from the galactic plane with all of them resembling some kind of a spherical shockwave. But no current explanation, such as, for example, neutron star collisions, black hole collisions, galactic collisions, supernova, gamma ray bursts, or any other common emissions we usually detect, could explain what's actually happening here. And so in the end, the scientists realized that orcs must be a completely new type of an object and were basically the biggest mystery in astronomy, at least the biggest radio mystery. Even things like fast radio bursts had a few more explanations compared to orcs. But we obviously have more telescopes coming, including the giant Magellan telescope and the currently active Meerkat telescope located in South Africa. Which of course means that we're getting even more data, radio data, that can allow scientists to discover even more of these unusual objects. And that's pretty much exactly what kind of happened here, except that there's one problem. New telescopes, new observations, also mean ridiculous amounts of data. Here, just a single observation from the Meerkat can actually result in terabytes of data that then has to be analyzed by someone. And even though this is open to volunteers, normally not a lot of people actually are able to do so effectively, and normally most of the data ends up being unprocessed. And so the scientists behind this study came up with their own artificial intelligence, or I guess technically machine learning. They named it Astronomy, I guess combining astronomy and anomaly. An algorithm whose main purpose is to go through data and quickly find out something unusual inside the data, something that just doesn't make sense and specifically data that might have been overlooked by others. In this case, apply to the data from the Meerkat collected in the last few years. And, well, it did find something. And I think the title from the paper basically says what it is. A unique ring-like radio source with quadrilateral structure detected with machine learning. Basically, this. But because the previous objects were works, they decided to name this one Sauron. Which I guess means that all of the future radio discoveries that involve mysteries are probably going to have some kind of a Lord of the Rings reference as well. And I can't wait for someone to name something Morgoth, Melkor, Shelob, Balrog, and of course, Frodo. Because, well, it's Frodo. And also apparently I look like him. Anyway, I'm actually super excited about future discoveries and future naming. As a matter of fact, maybe there should be a rule where any object that involves radio waves and is unexplained has to be some kind of a character or a thing from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, probably not gonna work. But I'm still going to be using these names anyway. And so they named this Sauron. But even though it might sound kinda cheesy, it does have a meaning behind the name. 
S stands for steep. In this case, referring to the unusual spectral slope where the high radio frequencies very quickly grow fainter as they move away from the source. But UR in this case refers to uneven ring. That's because it's not a perfect ring, unlike a lot of other odd radio circles. And the last part refers to non-thermal radiation, referring to types of radiation produced by particles accelerating by powerful magnetic fields, but possibly not by anything else, because nothing else seems to be happening here. And currently this object is believed to be about 1.2 million light years across, 20 times the size of the Milky Way galaxy. But the question is, is it also an orc? Is it an odd radio circle? Well, at the moment it doesn't seem to be the case. It doesn't really have the same properties as odd radio circles. For example, with a lot of orcs, at least half of them do have a central galaxy in the middle. Here, however, the host galaxy known as Abel 209 does not seem to have any radio emissions like the ones where we usually find orcs. And more importantly, none of the wavelengths or the frequencies match the observation from Sauron. At the same time, its shape is very different as well. It's not really a circle. And as the name implies, it's basically four-sided, quadrilateral. Which to the scientists behind this paper suggests that the magnetic field in this case might actually have some unusual properties. The fields here don't seem to align well with the main structure. And so its true origin is completely unknown. And even though it resembles one of the odd radio circles a little bit, they're still very different from a lot of other discoveries to date. And at the moment, this seems to be one of approximately 200 different anomalies identified by the artificial intelligence, but only one of them resulted in something that seems to be definitely there. The only problem is that we don't really know what it is. Is it the result of a galactic collision? Is it a result of a black hole collision? Or is it something entirely different? There's really no way to actually know what it is just yet. Although at the moment, the best explanation so far is that maybe it is a result of a merger between two supermassive black holes millions of years ago, specifically located right in the middle of Abel 209. But in order to actually establish if this is what happened here, we have to find other signs. Usually these also involve a lot of emissions including a lot of star formation, and very powerful accretion disks around a central black hole. At the moment, nothing like that has been discovered here just yet. But the only explanation for what we're seeing is really powerful magnetic fields. No other physical phenomenon can create anything like this without producing other emissions. There's no optical light, there's no x-rays, there's no gamma rays, there's nothing. Just radio light. So it has to be a very powerful magnetic field, but in this case a field that stretches across millions of light years. But then again, that's pretty much exactly the same problem with trying to explain orcs. We still don't really know what happened here either. I guess the only difference is that these are a little bit more circular and usually are actually associated with some kind of a galactic center. This, however, is not. But chances are we're not going to know what it is anytime soon. This thing is about 7 billion light years away from planet Earth, so it is actually pretty far. And even the most powerful radio telescopes right now are going to have trouble discovering what actually happened here. And this was also the only discovery out of approximately 115 galactic clusters, with each containing thousands of galaxies. The observations here lasted for approximately one year, which basically suggests that these are not very common objects, the only one out of potentially 100,000 galaxies investigated so far. And so whatever is happening here is just going to be yet another radio mystery to add to the book of various other radio mysteries discovered in the last few years. So far there's actually quite a lot and you can find more in the description below. Apart from works, we obviously also have fast radio bursts and some other phenomena you can discover in the description. Anyway, for now that's pretty much all we know. It's a completely new discovery, it has no explanation, it has pretty much nothing. Except for, I guess, a cool name. But once the scientists identify something else, or once there are some other explanations of how this could possibly form, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.